Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. And this is the video for the free rabbit sales checklist. So if you watch this video all the way to the end, you'll get all the information you need to list your rabbit for sale or to rehome your rabbit. So this list is actually available for free at razzledazzlerabbitry.com. If you go to the section that says shop, it is on the top of the website. Click on that. All the way at the bottom of the page, you'll find the uh, rabbit sales checklist. It's completely free and you can just grab that, download it, and it'll be right available for you. So this checklist came into being because uh, selling a rabbit or rehoming a rabbit is something that can happen. There's, If you're a breeder, it's obviously something that you want to be able to get good at. If you have a rabbit that you can no longer take care of, you want to be able to find a good home for it. Or if you have just even an oopsie litter of rabbits, you want to be able to find a good home, a good home for your rabbits. So the checklist has three main parts to it, three main things. And the first is the actual description. And you're going to want to physically write this out. So not just something that you put in your head, but take the time to type it out or take the time to write it out. So you want to include certain information in this because you have certain information about your rabbits and people who are interested in rabbits have certain things, certain uh, characteristics that they might want in a rabbit. And to communicate effectively, here are examples of things you might want to include. You want to include the birth date, the date available, the breed of rabbit, if you know it, uh, the sex or the quantity of rabbits, how many are male, how many are female, the color of each, the price you're asking, pedigree options, and transportation options. And that's just a basic list to get started in the description. Really what you're trying to do is to provide as much information as you know about the rabbits to give to uh, prospective buyers or new owners. Because if someone is looking for uh, a male rabbit that's an Angora rabbit with a pedigree, a French Angora rabbit with a pedigree, and they want it to be uh, a proven buck, a proven male, if you, the more information you can include in your description, that person either knows yes, you have what I'm looking for and I'll contact you, or no, you don't have what I'm looking for and I won't contact you. It will save you time, it will save the buyer's time, and it will save the bunny's time. It'll help you really make a much more accurate and better match for your rabbits. So if you, if you want to as well, if you know things about your rabbit, such as um, preferences, if it has preferences for drinking out of a water bottle, that's very important to know. If your rabbits, if you know your rabbits have never been exposed to a water bottle, you want to mention that. Uh, if you have uh, different um, personality things that you know about your rabbit, such as there are certain toys they enjoy or there are certain types of things they like to chew on, that's also important to include because it helps your rabbit find an owner that can properly care for it. Number two. So uh, you really want a minimum of three pictures. You want to be able to find a way to take three pictures. So if you don't have a camera, if you don't have a phone that has a camera, if you don't have access to a camera, you're going to want to borrow somebody's, you're going to want to somehow find a way to get at least three pictures. And the pictures very much matter to uh, the listing of your rabbit. So you want your, click, your pictures to be clear. You want someone to be able to very clearly see your rabbit. If there's a blurriness to it, then you just want to go ahead and not even post that picture, just delete it. You want to groom your bunny before you're taking pictures of your rabbit because you really want to present your rabbit in a nice, clean state. You want to be able to trim the nails, take any debris off from the wool, such as hay. You want to take pictures from the sides of the rabbit, from the front of the rabbit, the top, angled pictures, you want to take pictures of the parted wool if possible. This tells uh, people who are looking for angora rabbits a lot when you have a very clear picture of, a, of the wool when it's parted. It can show from the top if there's banding in the coloring, 
if the rabbit has a baby coat and the adult coat is coming in, if there's crimp or a lack of crimp, it can also show quite a bit about guard hair. So there's a lot that parting the angora wool can actually show. And you wanna take pictures of the best features of the bunny. So what do you mean by best features, right? Like what's the best feature of a rabbit? Well, if you're breeding German angora rabbits, there's a standard to follow. And the rabbits have particular uh, requirements for length versus width. So if you have a German Angora rabbit who is nice and long and really does a good job of conforming to the breed standard for German Angoras, you want to let people know that this specimen, this rabbit, has a very good adherence to the actual breed standard. The last is how you list, where you list, right? So the final listing, there's a lot of things to consider because if nobody sees your listing, if nobody sees the information that you prepared, nobody sees the description, nobody sees the pictures, then nobody sees your rabbit. Then your rabbit doesn't get a new home because nobody knows. So you have to be able to find the proper places to list your rabbit, to find the proper places to sell your rabbit. So there's people out there looking for all sorts of different types of rabbit, all sorts of different types of characteristics of rabbits. You want to list on places like MeWe. There's a lot of different groups for Angora rabbit listings and Angora rabbit sales. Hoobly, Craigslist. If you have your own website, if you have your own blog, your own podcast, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. There are so many more social media outlets. You want to really cover the spectrum and you want to pay attention to the rules of each of these places. So as of this video, the recording of this video, Facebook does not allow the sales of animals. And so you want to refrain, for example, for listing your rabbits for sale blatantly on Facebook because what will typically happen is you will get flagged, it will be deleted or removed by Facebook. And if you keep committing this violation of Facebook's policies, you just simply get banned and so you're not allowed to use it. So you wanna pay attention because these things change as well. So if you're looking to do something else that's not listing online, you still do have the option to physically take your description, your pictures, put it in the form of a poster, and to actually take those posters and physically distribute them. So you're gonna to wanna to choose places where people in your community will visibly see them. That might be someplace like a pet store, if you have a tractor supply or a farm supply store, such as there's a fleet farm locally in this area. If you have some place also that is um, just like a very popular destination, a very popular store that has an area for information, you'd wanna list that as well you want to put your poster there as well. So there's a lot of different options and it takes listing a rabbit and actually getting the rabbit to have uh, to find a new home for it. It does take a bit of effort, but the effort pays off because it really sets you up to be visible to the people who are interested in what you have to offer. So again, this checklist is available completely for free. It's at razzledazzlerabbitry.com. You can just go on the shop tab on the top all the way at the bottom and you can get a digital copy of this right away. So thank you for watching and we will see you in our next video.